yeah, g'day viewers. Bought a lot to share with you. My latest project. I've decided to work on some sort of Christmas ornament, which I'm going to stick on the roof at home. And this is what I'm planning. I've got this old motor unit. I don't know what it was used for originally, but it's quite beautiful and has an electric motor at the base with a gearbox assembly and a, there's a whole bunch of slip rings inside here. So the wire, the power is fed through these wires here. And then they come out through a bunch of wires up here. So I thought I could make some sort of rotating Christmas tree or something like that. Anyway, I'll just power this thing up. It's just a DC motor. Yeah, quite a nice assembly. Anyway, the idea is I've got this uh, wooden pole here. It's about two meters or so. And I'll put it in here. So the pole will be supported by this you know, post hole. And then the wiring will connect up to a bunch of uh, lights and stuff. And I'll make a bit of a frame to hang the lights on. And well, here's the basic framework. I'll put in some 8mm rod here. Just to form a basic cross shape. And up the end, drilled in a couple of holes here, and I've just pushed in a little bit of copper pipe that I cut to 30 mil, and that way I can pass the wire through it, and it will act as a bit of a restraint. And down here, where I'm anchoring the wire on the ends, I basically notch it out with an angle grinder just to hold the wire in place, so it won't. Uh, slip off the ends here. Or just come down this end or just skew the other bit. So that's where it's being notched out so so I'll just tie this one off and finish the other bit. Okay the next stage is complete. I've basically strung the wire ran it in, into the notches here so it's all tensioned to the degree and I put a middle support rod in here and uh, so I basically just cut a notch in the end like this one so just basically put the wire in Same as the other end here. So now the wire is self supporting and ready to be populated with some lights. So that'll be the next stage. I'll get onto that now. Yeah, there we go, that's all done. All wired up and secured. So I'll just, all I need to do is drill a hole in the end of the post and then I can just push the rod in and that'll hold that at the top. Righto, just been up on the roof and I've just set up a motor base unit. A 
plethora of decorations from last year. Yeah, quick look around. View from top of the roof here. The sun's just starting to go down. Some old decorations. They used to be balls, those things with some lights around them, eh? But the balls have collapsed in the heat and pretty well buggered. But the lights still work, which is good. And here, I uh, just got some solar panels for the old electricities at home. Works pretty well. Well, better go and put the rest of the thing up before it gets too dark. Well, it's working. Just got it plugged in now. Just a quick look at this wiring. Would recommend anyone to do this. It's a bit dodgy. Look at this. Got cords and things draped everywhere. Another power board up there. Comes down to one hanging there. Yeah, oh, what have we got? There's another one up here. God. Alright. Yeah, another dead one up there. Oh, he's, he's. Yeah, some more. You can hear a motor going up there. Uh, uh, oh, there's a timer. That turns all the lights on at night and things. And here's the power for make the motor go faster or slower. I've got a wire here connected. Oh, a bit dodgy. Got a few remnant lights left here that'll still work. The whole strings died, but just a few left. The whole string used to go right along here. There's a few others down that end. Alright, let's have a look at this thing up here. Well, there we have it. I haven't wired up the light from the top yet. Just need one more bit of power cord for that one and I'll do that tomorrow. I cut a bucket in half just to make a little rain shield stop water get, getting into that motor. Anyway, Merry Christmas to all your mob out there. If you don't celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas anyway. So, have a good one. Oh, I forgot to trim all those cable ties. The ends are still sticking out. Ah, it doesn't matter.